try to stop the leak, businesses fueled by the Gulf waters are, of course, losing money. BP has promised to pay all legitimate claims in a timely manner, but how does BP define legitimate? Attorney General Troy King is leading the town hall meeting tonight to answer the questions about the claims agreement. Thank you very much for uh, coming by. You talked about lawyer talk last week. And have you gotten any assurance from BP that they are going to pay all the costs from this? That's what we've been told. The Attorney's General went to Jackson. We met with Jack Lynch, who is the General Counsel for the United States for British Petroleum. And we went there for one reason. We went there to say to him, there are people in the Gulf Coast who are fearful. They're afraid they're going to lose their boats, their houses. They're not going to be able to provide for their families. Families. They're looking at, at the way they make their living mm -hmm. being gone forever. And it is time for BP to stop talking in lawyer speak and saying things like legitimate claims right. and, to, and to man up and accept the responsibility that they have already owned. This is their disaster and it's their responsibility. You know, I heard yesterday during the hearings they, they kind of hedged a little bit when it came to saying you'll do exactly this and exactly that. Did, did you have that fear in talking to them? Well, I had that fear going to Jackson. We left with a commitment from BP that they were going to pay all individual claims. They were going to pay all business claims. And we're in the, we're beginning to negotiate with them over tax-based claims. Mm -hmm. So this is a this is a significant uh, negotiation that is occurring. But we expect, we have been told, and we expect it has been memorialized to writing now that they are going to pay individual loss claims within 48 hours. They're going to pay business claims in an expedited manner. They're going to allow businesses to use either their 2009 profit loss statements or 2008 if they were affected by the recession in order to get a fair assessment of, of what the loss actually is. So yes, we expect BP to keep and ex to keep the commitment that they have made to us as attorneys general. And if they don't, then we're going to have uh, we're going to have serious conversations to come with them. But so far, so good. Let's talk about the hearing tonight that's happening at seven o'clock. Uh, tell me who should show up for that. Anybody should come. We're going to we're going to provide a timeline of how this has evolved, what the role of the attorneys general have been. We're going to explain to people what BP has committed. We're going to talk to them about the waivers that were signed. We have a commitment in writing now that they're not going to enforce any of those. We have uh, we're going to talk to them about how the claims process works. We're going to give out the claim processing number. We're going to make them aware of where they can go to have attorney general staff assist them with completing their claims. We're going to tell them if their claim is denied or delayed. How, who they can contact in order to, to get uh, intervention with BP and ESIS who's doing the claims adjusting. Uh, we are here to serve the people we work for, the mm -hmm. people of the Gulf Coast. So it's sort of one-stop shopping in a way. That's right. And we're and so we're here tonight to talk to them about how this process works. We're here to give out the 800 number again, 1-800-440-0858. Anybody who has a claim may begin there, or they may begin in one of these walk-in centers where there will be Attorney General staff present on hand mm -hmm. to assist them. Mr. Attorney General, thank you very much for coming to buy. Thank we you. Were very appreciate it. Now, keep in mind the town hall meeting on the claims agreement starts at 7 o'clock tonight. It'll be inside Government Plaza. That's in downtown Mobile.